many people in India uh, and all over the world they criticize this very custom of worshiping God in the temple very opulently, having a very opulent clothes for the God, a beautiful garlands and ornaments made up of gold and diamonds, the crowns of diamonds, and you know offering a a a very delicious food to the God, offering. Ghee and you know offering milk, honey, fruit juices on God, the the, the deity of God, the, the image of God. So really, God needs our worship. If He's all powerful, if He's uh, all beautiful, all attractive, proper of everything, do, do do really does He need our worship? Yes. Why He needs? Because what our very Siddhantas, what our very principles says that when someone offers something to God out of love and respect. That person is very fitted. So God is Atma Ram Om Purnamada Purnamidam Purnat Purnamudachate Purnasya Purnamadaya Purnameva Vashishate. He is complete in himself. He doesn't need anything. He is Atma Ram. But any soul, any person, he offers something to the God. God doesn't need that. But when someone offers with love and devotion, God wants that love and devotion. And when someone offers that, the person who is offering that, he gets benefited. He gets spiritually uplifted. He gets purified from within, and by that he becomes happy. Very simple. We see the tree. The huge tree is there, and if the root, if that demands, if if some person is you know watering the leaves and the fruits and the branches, and the root says, "My dear sir, don't water them. Please water me. Please water me. I need water. I need water." Someone may says, "How selfish these roots are," but roots they know that when someone water the roots. The energy goes to all the parts of the tree. So same way, God knows that when someone worships Him, offers something with love and devotion, by that entire universe gets benefited. And that's why, as per our Vedic custom, we worship God with all love and devotion, with many ingredients. Hare Krishna.